There's a new documentary out that promises to blow the lid off the vast right-wing conspiracy. You see, Jen Senkos' dad changed, and she doesn't know why. Here's my dad with me when I was a baby. He really loved me. <laughs> my dad was pretty goofy. All of the kids in the neighborhood really liked him. <laughs> he was a really good dad. Then in the 80s, when my dad started listening to talk radio, I saw my father change a lot. That's right. He changed so much he was unrecognizable. <laughs> Look how old he got. I wouldn't even know him, but it says dad at the bottom of the screen. That's right. Talk radio turns regular people into old men. Okay, yeah, that was me. <laughs> that was my take, but let's look what she said. Suddenly, he didn't like black people, or poor people, or gay people, or Hispanics, or feminists, or lawyers, and Democrats, forget it, hated them. And when he found Fox and discovered the internet, it was like he moved to another planet. <laughs> Another planet. <laughs> Sanko told the Daily Beast she first noticed the change in her father sometime during the 1980s when he picked her up from the bus station for a visit home. His views shocked her. But instead of using something called self-awareness and realizing that she may have changed in college, she assumed it was dad who did all the changing. And she had to find someone to blame for his brainwashing. She did a little washing of her own. Documentaries. They're like the environmentally friendly dry cleaning of brainwashing. Jimmy, liberals mm. are basically people who don't understand their parents, aren't they? That, I was just going to say that right off the bat. I should have let you do it. <laughs> That's so funny. But she specifically said that the first time her dad quoted Rush Limbaugh mm -hmm. was when they were driving by a Hooters that a bunch of feminazis were trying to close. Yeah. Is it possible her dad just liked Hooters <laughs> and, and these feminazis drove her dad into the arms of Rush Limbaugh? And I don't even think that's the case. I think it's impossible for these people to fathom that her dad and people like him showed up to Fox News with those views beforehand. Yeah. Because that's a liberal thing. If you don't agree with their idea, their ideals, you must be crazy. Completely out that's, of your mind. Yeah, you, yeah. Must, you just must be nuts because they can't ever fathom that they're wrong. They actually don't have the self-awareness on this one. It's bizarre. Yeah. I mean, Sonny, the documentary talks, talks a lot about right-wing fear-mongering. She mentions it over and over. But then they go on to do a lot of fear-mongering, playing yeah. scary music <laughs> and showing you how, how right-wingers are taking over the world. Yeah. This is a trying moment for me because I'm going to come out of the closet. Mm. I am a trans black conservative. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, after being around Fox so much and kind of interacting with you people, I think I've lost my damn mind. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I, this is so funny because they always say this, like, you, you got brainwashed by Limbaugh and you got brainwashed by Hannity. And I'm like, I don't listen to Limbaugh. I don't listen to Hannity. I don't listen to any conservative talk radio. I, it's very few people I listen to on the conservative side of the aisle altogether. If you want to know where my conservatism comes from, you can check Jay-Z and you can check some of the hip-hop artists artist that told me capitalism was the way to go to get out of the ghetto. That's where I got my conservatism from. And then you might start tuning into some uh, conservative media and that way. That's the thing, Camille. No, y'all no, no, crazy. <laughs> y'all crazy. Uh, Camille, she uh, has a point. The, the, uh, the filmmaker, she calls for bringing back the fairness doctrine. Now that's Orwellian, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's great. I mean, what you need is, is more equal time on television for everyone and their ideas. You know, I bumped into plenty of insane conservatives. I've also bumped into plenty of insane left these a lot of times you in bump this, into a lot of people in this, in this, very, yeah. building, <laughs> in this <laughs> very building on occasion but if there is some sort of brainwashing device it is the poor most poorly calibrated brainwashing device I've ever encountered like conservatives have certainly lost elections since Fox News has been on the air like there are plenty of folks trying to compete for space and for attention I mean this is just ridiculous the notion that the what? only way someone could disagree with you mm -hmm. is if they have somehow had their brain, brain completely <laughs> transformed by the the micro waves that come out of the television mm -hmm. when someone on Fox appears. It's it ridiculous. makes perfect sense. I mean, Joanne, <laughs> if it is a conspiracy, it's one of the most bumbling conspiracies in history. Right? Bumbling. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> my huge issue with this documentary is the tone that she takes and what she says about her father. Uh -huh. It truly sounds like she's saying he has some sort of mental disability. Yeah. Yeah. Or he is becoming senile or getting Alzheimer's or there's some sort of issue. And a lot of people have fathers that that is happening to, that it's no longer like their dad. This is not a real problem for her. She is making a problem out of this when really she should be embracing it. Mm -hmm. You will now have really fun Thanksgivings. And by fun, I mean <laughs> lots of fights because you always talk about politics and, and then that's great stories to tell. Yeah, and isn't that the fact, I mean, the funny thing is, it's, I talk about her lack of awareness because when when you first start talking to your parents about issues and things, it's usually, yeah. you know, post-college or mm -hmm. that, you know, you never argued politics with your dad yeah. when you were 13. That did, yeah, that didn't happen at Little League. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Leg out that double, damn Republicans. <laughs> you know what I mean? Although he does seem to acknowledge that there was some sort of change that took place. We should acknowledge the possibility mm. that he could just be out of his mind. Yeah, that might have went on. He too. might be crazy but, as well. But while we're talking about out of her mind, <laughs> like, like that could happen. Oh, Let's be no, kind like, to him. We should acknowledge he could be this. crazy. We don't want to pick on this guy. He could be nuts. Okay. My, my, just a little yeah. bit of generosity he, for the filmmaker. He raised his daughter mm -hmm. and then went crazy. Mm -hmm. Send her to college, which I'm sure the education that she got that whooped her mind, he paid for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? So every single thing about her little precious life was given to her by her father and her mother, I'll put the unit together, mm -hmm. the family unit. And now you want to come back and say that they're the crazy ones. Yeah. I want to check on her in 15 years. Mm -hmm. And let's see if she's on Obamacare, getting everything, sucking from the government and taking everything that she can possibly get from them, or is she like her father? that in her house with her husband, raising her kids, doing the right thing, and then she'll maybe see why we do what we do. She could come back. It always happens, right? We should mention what? Matthew Modine is the producer of that film, a great actor, yeah. and uh, I guess it's sad to see what he's doing with his money. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, it's that time again, halftime with TV's Andy Levy. We'll see you at the Red Eye News deck after the break. Uh, Right-wing media brainwashed good old dad. Uh, Jimmy, liberals are just parent uh, people who don't understand their parents, aren't they? That's in a nutshell. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole, uh, back to what we said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sonny, you said that after hanging out with Fox News people for so long, you've lost your damn mind, and then you said you were only kidding. Were you the... No, not really. Y'all yeah, uh, knew I lost my mind when yeah. I first came on here, yeah. so don't be acting surprised now. Yeah. Uh, Camille, I'm actually not doubting that spending his entire day listening to talk radio, et cetera, changed this girl's father. Right. Uh, sorry, this woman's father. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but where she's completely dishonest is she's saying that it's one-sided. She's acting as if the same thing doesn't happen on the left. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I, I've met plenty of kooky lefties who wear tinfoil hats and believe all sorts of bizarre things. Yeah. Yeah. But she says, this is her quote, which I love. She says, centrists and liberals and progressives have to wake up and smell the f***ing coffee. We've all sort of been polite. Liberals, progressives, we want to be fair, but it's not about being fair. It's about being objective. Yeah. <laughs> and, and objective. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, she should do stand-up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, not at all a shock that she would float the idea of bringing back the fairness doctrine because what this is ultimately about, this is liberal discontent that they've lost their monopoly on the media mm -hmm. yep. and that they've utterly failed on talk radio in a free market system. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, just, will nobody argue with me on that? Don't no, any. I mean, I hallelujah. I really can. I, yeah, I drove a coffee. Can. I drove a cab, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen to both all day. Yeah. Oh, how terrible. Yeah. This is another, I love this, she says this about Fox. She says, those brightly colored sets and disorienting camera movements, they're designed <laughs> to throw the audience off kilter. Imagine <laughs> believing that's true. Imagine believing it has nothing to do with the fact that our camera people are drunk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. I'm done. All right. Thank you, Andy. Yep. Gotta go, but stick around. The hosts of Not Exactly News stop by after the break. <laughs>